This is the latest. I didn't like the fence I had for my table saw miter gauge. So I saw this on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link for it because it gives you the whole how to build with measurements and the whole shebang. So my fence came out about 17 and a half inches, just like this one, but it didn't have the extension. I saw this guy made this extension. I'm pulling it out slow because it will come all the way out. I got about another inch and a half in there, recessed in there from this little notch I put in there with a file. So I know how far out I can go. You might come up with a better idea. So as you can see, that really extends that out there nice. Uh, and if I want, I got this little, I use brass, like the man mentioned. I'm assuming it's because it's a softer metal, hopefully not going to ding up the aluminum too much. Then it's not going to slide so nice after a while. And then I've got this little stop on here. I just, I just made it out of plywood. So uh, same thing. And uh, this thing I find sometimes with these micro jig system, I got to give it maybe a little puff and then it slides really good. So I can just set this wherever I want and crank it down. And I mean, it really wedges in there nice. It doesn't move. So if you haven't seen the micro jig system, I highly re recommend you look at it. It's just got this wedge system here. As you can see, well, so there's how it wedges. And my first thought is it might blow out the top, but it can't because it's going to be pressing up against this piece of plywood. So there's nowhere for any of this to go. So wedges in there great. I've never had any issues with this getting blown out. Not that you'd need to tighten it that much anyway. And then there's the bottom track. So I can just loosen up these little knobs to slide this thing back and forth if I want. Very happy with it so far. And he also mentioned, as you can see, these two holes here, those are just uh, two brad nails. So I uh, drilled through the aluminum rod and put those in there along with the epoxy just to make sure it holds. And the other thing he did, which I thought was a good little attention to detail, the rods only come to about an inch from the end. That way, if you ever, you know, slid this thing over and got in line with your blade, you're not going to hit the aluminum rods, hopefully. So that's it. I will leave a link in the description, and you can find exactly how he does it there.